Hello and welcome to another Elite Code problem. This problem is from the last Elite Code contest from last week. Problem number 2, 2685, count the number of connected components. And so we're given a bunch of edges that connect nodes. And then we're given n nodes, numbered 0 index, so 6 nodes be 0 to 5. And we're given these edges. And our task is to return the number of fully connected components of the graph. And so if you didn't have this fully connected components thing, it would be a lot easier to get an output because what you could do is you can just have a visited set and you can just iterate through every single edge and DFS through every single edge. To, so for example, you would go here and you would use a DFS and you'd go here and go here, put everything in the visited set. And every time you encounter something that wasn't in the visited set, you have a new component. But in here, we are asked to get complete com connected components. And so a complete com connected component means there's an edge from every single point to every single other point. So like here, here, here. And this one would not be a complete connected component because there is no edge here. And one thing I thought of that actually missed the test case was I thought in a complete connected component, every single node would have an equal number of edges because like in this picture, every single node has two edges. But there was one test case that I missed. And so I can draw that really quick. So if it's something like this, so you have these four nodes, and you have something like this. So even though they are all connected, and every single node has the same number of edges, so every single node has two edges from it, not every single node is connected directly to each other. So these two aren't connected, and these two aren't connected. So this is what it would look like if they were connected. So an important thing to realize is for a completely connected graph, every node is connected to every other node. So if we have n nodes, every single node is connected to n minus 1 nodes. And there's an equal number of edges from each node. So we know, for example, if we have a connected component of four nodes, every single node would have to have three edges. And so for a connected component of n nodes, every node needs to have n minus 1 edges. And so this is important in getting a solution. So what we could do is we could make a hash map for, for all these edges. And we can just have a hash map like this. So it would be a hash map. Just call it dict for now. And then the key equals a node. And then the values are edges from it. And it's also important that when we get an edge like this, 0 to 1, this is not this is an undirected graph, so there would be a bidirectional edge. So this is an edge from 0 to 1 and an edge from 1 to 0, and we need to put the node in each one of these, into both. So we can get this dictionary of keys and values, and then we can iterate. might cut out there for a second. So we can iterate from 0 to n. And we can just say, have we visited this node before? And if we have, we can skip it. But how do we figure out if our connected component is completely connected? And so what we could do is we can have a set visited that has every single node. And then we can have another set called edges that will take the number of edges from every node we're at. So number of edges at the node. So for example, if we DFS to this, we can just say, OK, what's the count of the values in the dictionary for this? OK, it's 2. And then we visit something else. It's 2, it's 2. And we can keep adding to the set. So at the end, once we go through a whole component, once we finish a DFS, we can just say, 
how big is our set? Is it only one value? It should be one value. And is the value the number of edges we visited? So we can just have an integer to keep track of current component. And it would look something like this. We would just, we would have a loop that would iterate through n edges. We would have an integer to keep track of the current component. And every time we get to a new component, we reset that integer and we reset this set edges. So it would look like this. We'd go to zero. We'd say, okay, this has two edges. So we're going to put this in the set. So that set will contain two. Okay, we'd go to one or two. And every time we go to a new node, we would also increment this current component number. So and any time we go to a new value, and any time we go to a new component, that number is going to be zero. So we go here, this, the value would be one, we put in two. Go here, the value would be two, we put in two again. And then here, and the value will be three, and we put in two again. And so then we can check our set, and we could say, since since our number of edges in our connected component is three, our set should only contain the value two, meaning every edge will have, or every node will have n minus one edges. In that case, it's a connected component. And if that's the case, then we can just add that to our output. But if we have something like this, so let's just go through this example really quick. So if we go to three, four, five, we go to three, our number of nodes is one, and then we put in two into our set of edges. We go to four, our number of nodes is two. We put in one into our set of edges. We go here, our number of nodes is three, and we put in one again. And we check our set. It should only have the value two if it was a completely connected component, but it has two and one. So therefore, it's not a completely connected component. So hopefully that makes sense, and let's code this up. And these graph algorithms are pretty useful. Another common thing you're going to run into is using union find as well, but we, you can solve this using union find, but we're just going to do DFS. So let's just reset this. And let's initialize everything we need. So let's just call, just make paths equals default dict. And we could use a list for edges, but I'm just going to use a set because there are no repeated edges and this will be faster. So let's just use a set. Okay. I'm actually, will a list be faster or will a set be faster? No, I'll just use a set. It's fine. Okay, so we're going to use a default dict set. Then we're going to have a res variable for another number of connected components. Then we need two sets, so we need a visited set. And this wouldn't, this is not going to take away from our space complexity because our visited set is going to be n size, and then our second set is going to be at most n size. So then we have edge counts, let's call it. And then we have one more variable called current component count, or just current component, and we're going to make that zero. So let's make our DFS and then we can have our loop. So the DFS is going to be pretty straightforward. It's just going to be DFS of a node. And it is pretty straightforward. So what we need to do is we need to add the edges into this edge counts. So add pass node. And this would be actually be length. Because the number of edges from this node is going to be the length of this path. Okay. And then we also need to update our current component. So we could do that. And in Python, um, if you have a variable outside of a function, you could use this non-local to have access to it in here. So we do that. Now we iterate through every path. So for path in paths node, we check if it's in our visited. And if it's not, then we DFS to it. So this is visited. We need to put add it in. And we can just DFS to it. So that's all for our DFS. It's pretty straightforward for this. And now we just need to have a loop that iterates through every single node. So And 
And so every time we get to a new, every time we break out of this DFS loop, we need to reset the current component. And we need to reset this edge count set. So then we just check if I not in visited, then we do our stuff in here. So visited.add i. And we don't need to increment this or this because that will be done in the DFS directly. So DFS node. Oh, uh, this would actually be i. And then we need to have our checks at the end here to make sure we have a connected component. So what we need to do is if length edge counts equals one, meaning every single edge has the same length, and cur component minus one in edge counts. So for something like three, we would need to have two in this edge counts. So if that's the case, then we can increment our res. Okay. And then I think we're done, so we can just return here. So let's try to run that. Might have some errors. Okay, let's see what we got. Length edge counts equals one. Oh, that's silly. Okay. okay. Wrong answer. Six expected three. Okay. So for some reason we are, we did this every time. So let's see. Visited at i DFS. If length of edge counts equals one and current component is in edge counts, res plus equals one. So that seems fine to me. Um, let's see if we're resetting everything. Uh, and let's see if we're doing all this correctly. So edge counts dot add length pass node. That should be fine. And look at whole component, current component plus equals one. That should be fine. For path, if path not visited, we add it and we DFS to it. Okay. That should be fine. Did we? Yeah, we added it here as well. Okay. Edge counts dot clear DFS. Is there a second one? Double as well. Six. Yeah, so for some reason we are always incrementing this res and we might have just misspelled something in visited or something. So let's see. Visited, visited, visited. If I not in visited, yeah, for some reason we're always returning six. So why is that the case, right? Yeah, okay. Per component edge counts clear, DFS I. If length edge counts, is this spelled correctly? Yes. Length, path, nodes. Is that spelled correctly? Yes. If path not, or path and pass node, pass and not visited, that seems right. Okay, I can't really. Hmm. How can I fix this? So, what I could do is I could print the edge counts. So let's do that. Just double check. Or actually, now that I'm thinking, another thing that's possible is we're never DFSing. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, never mind, never mind. I did something really stupid. So I forgot to actually iterate through these edges and add them to this path. So that's, okay, so for a left edges counts left add right okay that 
that was kind of silly. Okay, now we should be good. So let's give that a go. Okay. Okay. And let's think about the time and space complexity here. So time. So for time, we are iterating through every single edge here. Then, what are we doing? We are adding them to the dictionary. Then we are iterating through every single node and we are going to every other node. And so I think for time, because we're iterating, th iterating through every single node and edge, our time, it, let's say our node is V and our, time, and our edge is E, I think it's this. And then for our space, we are storing a dictionary of nodes with a set of edges from them. So I think that would be the same thing. I think that would be this as well. And if someone has a better solution than I have, this, I kind of wrote this up kind of quickly, and this is a new problem, so there isn't an official solution. Or if, if someone can correct me on my time and space complexity, if it's wrong, um, they can let me know in the comments. And that's all for this problem, so thanks for watching.